Oh yeah, I'm gonna make you watch it again. <laughs> All right, so this is my favorite video game. I'm certain there are people that have been subscribed to me for a very long time and don't even know what the hell The Legend of Dragoon is. That is okay. Today you gonna learn. Today you gonna learn. This is my favorite game. It's not my favorite PlayStation game. It's not my favorite RPG. It's just my favorite game, period. House is on fire. I gotta pick one game to run out of the burning house with. This is the game I'm grabbing. I love this game. <sighs> also, if I sneeze or cough or sound groggy, it's because sinuses are killing me, and I'm very sorry for that. But this is my favorite video game ever. I have heard uh, quite a few subscribers have told me that there are apparently problems going on with this game. It's a 30 year old RPG and they yeeted it onto the PS5 and there is no way I can turn any sound down so it's just going to be a loud playthrough. They yeeted this on the PS5 and there um, apparently are issues with it freezing or the screen going black or whatever. I gotta be honest with you, all those issues were in the original, okay? No game is perfect. There's, there's a few bugs, but, but I'm going to show you guys how to fix that shit. Don't worry. Anywho, let's get going. Oh yeah. Also, I looked through all the trophies and like this game is going to be so easy to like platinum and I can platinum it again on PS4 because the trophies are separate. I'm so excited. Ooh! I'm going to shut up though. Y'all enjoy this. I do have it set to be in widescreen, so if anything looks wonky, that's why. Great commander, this way. They do look chonky in widescreen. So this is her. I'm gonna do my best to do voices. Don't laugh at me. I'm gonna try to do voices. My only worry is female voices. That's the only thing I'm terrified about. Cause I mean, I don't sound very feminine. 
and I don't want to go like full on kawaii desu. I don't. I don't want to do that. The Green Tusk Dragon, Fairbrand. <laughs> Chapter 1 The Serdian War. The game is split into four chapters, which was across the four different discs. I don't know how disc swapping will work in this version. I know on like the PS3 version and on Vita, it's like, oh, do you want to swap discs? I don't know if it's seamless now. Hmm, a chance of war more likely. I hope it's just a rumor. Are you a mercenary of Basil? Answer! What are you doing? Are you drawing a sword against us? What... what is... What the heck is this? Ugh. I gotta do something or I'll be killed. What a monster. It's coming. Ugh. Who are you? Shh. If you don't want to die. Thank you for saving me. What the heck was that? It's a dragon. A dragon. But it's strange. That village could have been easily destroyed without a dragon. The village. Are you talking about Celes? Then those soldiers were... There won't be anything left by now. Celia's is my village. Oh my god. That man must be... No, there's no way. Oh no, my god. Where is everybody? Boom, gameplay. You didn't get enough killing? <laughs> it may be enough if I kill you. No. Uh. Stop. Oh, a mercenary. Isn't it a little late for you to show up? Shut up. What are you doing here? Can't you see? We're going to occupy this area, and these worms were in our way. 
Occupy? Were you sent by the Imperial Army? Even if we were, it's none of your business. You're gonna die soon. I got bad news for you guys. You are the very first enemies in a 60 hour RPG. I'm fairly certain you're going to die. Oh yes. So, go ahead, get your attack in. There you go. So, first and foremost, the Legend of Dragoon has all of its numbers start very, very, very low. I always enjoyed this. It reminded me of like old D&D &D campaigns. But yeah, don't expect like thousands of points of damage and things like that. You're gonna be surprised when I break like a thousand point hit, which will probably come on the final boss. But yeah, let's see this. Ooh, oh yeah, like slipping on an old pair of jeans. Suck it. So, the Legend of Dragoon has the addition system, which means in order to do combo moves, in order to do more powerful attacks, you have to do these little, you can call them mini quick time events, but it makes the battles much more engaging. Yeah, I got four experience points, a whopping four. <laughs> the numbers are very low in this game. That's why there's a trophy for like, have 7,000 gold. Ah! Are, are you really Dart? Yes, it's me. Why is Silly's under attack? Or Imperial Sandora attacked us. What about the truce? Yeah, suddenly, I didn't imagine they could come to such an outlying area. If only I had come back sooner. There is something you have to do. Shanna, rescue Shanna. Only you can. Uh, uh. Wait, what about Shanna? Hey, wait! Already dead. Hmm. Y'all ready for uh, some bomb menu music? Mmm. Mmm, sounds good. Oh, yes. Ignore that. I was just testing it before I recorded. Boop. It does have trophy support, which I'm very excited for. I've already gathered a couple of them. But I didn't, I only played like 26 minutes, so I'm not very far into the game. Or I wasn't very far into the game. Plus. Hang on. Ah. That voice. Is that you, Dart? This way. It's just a light wound. I guess I was lucky. But look at this village. If only you came back earlier. Guys, I'm sorry. I was late. Jesus Christ. It's about Shanna, too. What's wrong with Shanna? She was taken away. It seems Shanna was their primary purpose. Do you know where they went? I don't know. I'm gonna make him talk. Besting a private is no reason to be confident. Where did you take Shanna? Shanna. Don't worry about her. She must be receiving the courtesies of Helena Prison by now. Helena? Surprised, huh? We specifically invited only that woman. You must be kidding. You attacked the village only to kidnap Shanna? 
Exactly. But don't worry, I will let you follow them, although not to Helena. To hell! Boss fight. God damn, it feels good to be playing this again. Granted, I've played it almost every single year for the past, like, forever. But yeah. Alrighty. I called it a 30 year old RPG earlier. It's actually a little younger than that, but still. Yes. Bye, bitch. Coward. Yes. Double flash. That's awfully cheeky of you. Here. Ooh. Yes. Double flash. You bitch. Got him. There's some big experience. 24 points. Woo! Leveled up. And I have acquired a new edition called Volcano. It's not a great idea to swap to your new editions immediately, though. I'll explain that in a little bit. I mean, you can for a damage boost, but it's not a great idea. Dart, you are going to rescue Shanna, aren't you? I won't stop you, but be careful. Your journey is not yet over, is it? No. You can count on us about Celes. There should be enough people who can still move. Thank you. When I settle everything, I'll be back with Shanna. All right, so about the additions, it's not a good idea to swap to them immediately because you want to level up your additions as much as you can, because here's the thing, every edition has levels. Right now I've only used Double Slash seven times, so I'm still in the first bracket. Eventually the 20s turn into 99s. When you've got an addition at 99, then you should swap to the next one. Because as you level them up, they get different attributes. They can get more damage, obviously that's what you want, but they'll also garner more SP, and the only way to unlock your final addition is to get all the others at the 99 bracket. I don't know if they have to be exactly at 99, but they have to be at the last bracket. They have to be at the last level. But yeah, we're not going to Volcano yet. But goddamn, it is good playing this again. If you guys uh, boot this up and want to play it, talk to this man right here. He'll give you combat tutorials and teach you things. I don't need a fucking tutorial, so I'm going to go. I always thought that the prison looked like a face. What do you guys think? It's like a weird chin for the bridge. Be good in there. Who the heck is the girl? You can tell me. The world's future rests on her. 
that's it. This is enough information for you. Those of you who do not grasp the value should just do what the order says. I am not taking orders. His, only His Majesty Dole can order me. Anyway, you must remember this. If you make a scratch on her, it'll cost more than your head. This is a message from Emperor Dole. Ugh. <laughs> it's so good to play this again. I love this fucking game. It doesn't have... It doesn't have an open world. That's one thing I'm sure a lot of people criticized it about. Because, you know, Final Fantasy's had open worlds since the beginning. This has little lines that lead you to the different areas of interest. And I never cared. It's not a big problem. You can, of course, pull the map out and see where you can go. Right now, my only objective is to get to Helena Prison. But you can see on the map there, there are other locations. There's another forest area to the north. Uh, all the way to the left is um, the city of Lohan. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what that other place is towards the south. But you can also pull out and see the entire world. And there are a lot of places to go to. It is a big game. <clears throat> also, if you've if you notice that it said no entry and enter, the translation is not great. It's a Japanese game, but there's there's little things like that. For instance, you probably noticed in the cutscene already, the voice acting is only dubbed. Uh, the, the voice acting is only synced to Japanese. It's not synced to English. So throughout the game, when you're playing it, you're going to notice that like lip movement when there's really nice cutscenes doesn't match up to the dialogue. And that's okay, because it's a fucking old game. It's a Japanese game. They didn't redo the lip sync for English. They just didn't. Everybody loves Yakuza because it keeps the original Japanese. So, you know, you can deal with a little bit of uns unsynced lips. Got a healing potion. If, uh, if you want, there's also another tutorial guy right here that will teach you things about elements and whatnot. I don't need a tutorial. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. Again, all the numbers start off very low. And that's okay. Yes. The combos also start off relatively simple, but there are some combos that to this day I still have trouble with, like Madness Hero is one of Dark's later additions. That one's a nightmare. But... It's, it's such a good game. Holy crap, is it fun. It's got great characters, an excellent story. The music is on point. Granted, I know some people are probably put off because it's a little bit metal, but I don't mind that because I like metal. But goddamn, this game is good. Probably not getting off the screen before another battle. Nope. Almost. But I didn't make it. The assassin cock! <laughs> Obviously, you can change the camera angle if you want. I'm looking... What button? Oh, yeah, R2. If you don't like the way the camera angle is, if you feel like it would be better at a different angle for you to get your additions, like putting it behind my character always helped when I was younger. 
but really when you're doing additions, you just need to watch the square. Pay attention to the square, pay attention to the sound of your character attacking, and the moment when the blade is going to make contact with the enemy, and you'll get the additions down. It's just when there's faster additions that it gets... Oh, come on, I need one more point. It's just when there's faster additions that it gets a little bit wild. Because, like, some of the additions later in the game are just ridiculous. And, of course, you know, failing addition sucks, because if you fail the addition, you're not getting the full benefit of the attack. You're not getting the damage output, and later in the game, you're not getting the SP value you should be. I have no time to deal with you. It reminds me. Wait! This way! This way! Fucking voices. Eek! Cut it out. Leave Shanna alone. Leave Shanna alone. Hang in there. I'll get you out. Of, I'll get you out from there. See, that's a weird translation thing. Like, I may say fuck it and just speak the way I want to throughout this playthrough. Because some of the translation is a little weird. But, you know, English is a stupid language anyways. Remember, English is not one language. It's three languages smashed together trying to be one language. Ah, almost out. God damn it. Feels good. Yes. Pretty much, if you hit the X button, you'll be able to hit your additions. Um, if you hit the X button when you hear them attacking, you'll hit your additions just fine. Another thing I didn't mention about the addition system is with the more powerful and more elaborate... Really? I didn't even move. I was on the edge of the screen. With the more powerful additions come uh, counterattacks, which you'll see throughout this. Uh, counterattacks will need you to press the circle button, because uh, at any point during your long combos, enemies can set up a counterattack, and if you fail to hit the circle button instead of the X button, they'll do damage to you and yeet you backwards. Is that another assassin cock? It is! Five experience points. <laughs> Almost have a hundred gold, though. That's nice. Ah. I never understood why the enter option was in the top one either, but again. Well, how can I sneak in? Seems like a good way to sneak in. So obviously you've noticed the uh, arrow above my head. When you're out in the world, it'll be an indicator of when you're about to get into an active battle. But in certain areas of the game, you are always under risk of being in battle. That doesn't mean that you're going to be constantly engaging in random encounters. That means that there are enemies in the level that you could run into. You'll see, of course. But yeah, in certain areas, it stays red to imply danger. I see. Good meat and fish. Sir Frugal will be happy. You bought a lot recently. Is there something going on? It's not the business of a merchant like you. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll inspect the load. I'll bet you will. Gotta hit X button when you see the exclamation point pop up. That is, that is interactive. You have to do it. 
Otherwise, you'll get caught and run off. Uh, it seems to be okay. Lower the bridge. Now. Seeing a few graphical glitches, but I don't care. It's not the worst thing in the world. Again, they did throw this on the PS5. The graphical glitches on the mounted creature are just gonna happen. There, there are different things you'll notice in this game. I made it. Gonna go this way. Oop, caught on the corner. See that chest up there? Yeah, we can't get to that yet. Almost like you'll return to this area at some point. Hmm. I'm just trying to let you guys know, don't rack your brains trying to find everything. There are some areas you can return to. All right, so this is exactly where I was after I did like a little test to just see how it played. And yeah, so. And again, 26 minutes. Who, who are you? I'm discovered. This way. Hi. I'm going to kill you. You're sturdy. Ow. My face. Yes. Double slash. God, that's satisfying, though. Hearing that double slash again. Fuck me. I love this game. Help me. I'm just a delivery man. Be quiet. I'm not going to kill you. Oh, okay. I won't make a noise. After you just ratted me out, you asshole. I told you I won't make a noise. I will be unloading until you finish your business. Oh, hey. Uh, if you are short on items, just tell me. I sell those too buy something. I'm actually just looking to sell stuff. Alright, so one of the big issues, if you'll notice in the top, that a lot of people probably have with this game is there is an item limit on how much you can carry. This is not Final Fantasy. You're not going to walk around with 99 of each potion in your inventory. That's not going to happen. You have a limit. So it's always a good idea to sell stuff that you aren't going to use. I do not recommend keeping any also you have to sell individual stuff i do not recommend keeping anything except health potions spirit potions that sort of thing do not hold on to any of these burnouts because you're not going to use them they're just things you can throw at an enemy and you want to be doing your additions you do not want to be wasting a turn on stupid items sell all that crap as for your armor whew, for some reason, you carry 225, 255 pieces of armor. But I don't have anything to sell at the moment. And you can buy different things. Healing potions are always a good idea. Angel's Prayer, of course, is, you know, the, uh, the phoenix down of this game. But make sure to keep in mind, you have a 32 item limit. That doesn't mean, like, if you're out in the field and you've got a limit, you'll open a chest and lose that item. It'll stay in the chest. But always make sure to have enough stock of things you need and have room to pick up stuff in the world. Because, again, you have a 32 item limit. Now, like I said, this is a dangerous area and there are enemies clearly patrolling. And they have to catch you. 
again, if you're new and you're just playing this, you've never played it before, you're not going to be able to go everywhere. This, I believe, is out of order. Yeah. You're not going to be able to go this way. Don't worry about it. You're coming back here later. So don't worry about finding everything. There's lots of different little hidden things to find. There's lots of later later items and gear and all kinds of stuff. Chase me! Chase me, person! Chase me! Oh, oh you're doing so poorly. <laughs> oh. I love this game. God, I love this music. Healing potions, of course, uh, don't have a numerical value. They always go based off, like, percentages. So, you know, you don't have to worry about... Um, like, the thing that always bothered me in um, Final Fantasy was the amount of stuff that would... Come on, chase me. Oh, 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 you almost got me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What bothered me in Final Fantasy was the amount that potions healed. So at a certain point, you needed, like, the high potions and late-game items because you would be using, like, 50 potions to heal a character to maximum in your menu, and it sucked. Yes. But in this game, most of the items and stuff are useful throughout. Except for these things. This is, uh, this, I think, the Spark Jet. This is uh, a lightning version of the Burnout. The Burnout is fire-based, that's lightning. Everything is based on elements. I haven't mentioned elements yet, but you can see where it says Helena Warden. He is a fire element because it's red. Yes. Uh, different colors correspond with different elements. Fire is red, water is blue, wind is green, earth is uh, a tan color, uh, lightning is purple, I do believe. And there are also in enemies and characters that have no element, or I think it's null element, but I always called it no element. They just they're really not tied to an element. But um again you can you can figure all this stuff out in the little tutorial guy in the first forest. He'll teach you all about elements and like using different elements and attributes and things like that. Like obviously Dart, the big red guy, is fire. You can sneak past this guy if you want, but I'm gonna fight him. Hey! Don't, don't pass on free experience and free edition levels. Don't. Just don't. Fight everything. Everything. It's the early game. You want that experience. Yes. Double flash. Whack. Yes. Double flash. Y'all don't even know why it's good yet. So far, all of this looks really basic, I'm sure. But, like, if you play this, oh, when you get into the story, like, right now, the only thing that you know is Dart is a mercenary. He was on a journey. Like, that, that line is not throwaway. Your journey's not yet over, is it? No, Dart's been on a journey for a while trying to do something very specific. But right now, your only objective is save your friend Shanna. And then you get pulled into all kinds of crazy shit. That dude, the man, the, the man in black. Oh, oh, he's scary. I know who he is. Like, y'all don't know who he is, but I know who he is. Yeah, but enemies, see, enemies just roam around. I recommend fighting as many enemies as you can. Early game, get as much experience as you can, because you're going to want it, you're going to need it. There's not a lot of grinding in this game. And when I say there's not a lot of grinding, the only places, like when I first played this, the only places I needed to grind experience 
was yes. um, when I got to the the dragon, the first dragon fight, you'll definitely want to grind a little bit. But aside from that and a few other key areas, you don't have to necessarily grind. You just have to learn the mechanics of the game and get good at it. Yes. Is my edition at all right see my first edition has gone to level two so now i need to get it all the way up to 40. each level has like 20 levels to it but the more you make it go up the more better it gets obviously but like as you can see volcano already does more damage than the attack i'm using but it is a good idea to level up all your additions first because if you don't level up all your additions you're not going to unlock the final edition for that character. It's very important to remember this if you're playing this game. You want to get them all to the 99 bracket, or you're not getting the last one. And the last one is the most powerful, and typically gives the most benefits out of any edition. Like, of course, after Volcano, there's the move Burning Rush. Burning Rush does dick all for damage, but its SP gain is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous how much SP the final bracket of that one gives you. So just, you know, play around, but make sure to level up all your additions, because if you don't, you're hindering your progress. Sup, homie? The whack. Yes. Double flash. I think Volcano, if I remember correctly, his second edition, you will start getting counterattacked. Because if I remember, Volcano is a three-hit strike, and after the first hit, they can do a um, counterattack on you, which will mean you need to press the circle button instead of the X button to counter their counter or you'll get fucked up. And those counter attacks can fuck you up. Do, 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 do. It's completely possible to sneak through this entire area and not fight anybody. It is doable. However, I don't recommend it because, oh no, he's seen me, but he can't do anything until I hit the X button. It is, it, is, it is possible to sneak past all of them, but you want to fight them. Get the experience. Fool! Oh. Also, I love their bondage gear. Yes. Double flash. I don't care what you say, that's bondage gear. Don't mind me, just murdering dudes. But again, as you can see now, the numbers are low and they start low and they, they I wanna say they stay relatively low for the entirety of the first disc, but you will eventually get into the thousands of experience, the thousands of hit points, all that jazz. I just acquired a leather jacket, if I remember correctly. That is not a piece of gear for Dart. Dart typically wears armor. I think the leather jacket is for Shanna, who I will acquire later. Yes. Double flash. Yes. Double flash. Another thing I didn't mention in the combat system, while the name bar has the name of the enemy and the element, the little arrow above their head will let you know how healthy they are. So when it's blue, they're at full health. When it's yellow, they're at medium health. When it's red, they're almost dead. But yeah. Angel's Prayer, you don't need to buy one of those because you just picked one up. And if you were to die at any point 
previously you only have one character so you're not going to last very long so yeah the the leather armor is what darts wearing but i can't even see the leather jacket i picked up because it is a piece of gear for uh shanna goods of course these are different things you have the war bulletin and you have uh, a memento from your father the list will show you where stuff is yeah the leather jacket is a piece of gear for Shanna. Everybody starts off, obviously, with... Ah! Sorry. Everybody starts off with their basic gear. So, like, you know, a dart starts with a broadsword. Other characters will start with spears or bows or things like that. Um, he has all kinds of basic gear, but if you'll notice, he's wearing a bracelet. That is, of course, taking up his inventory slot. The bracelet, if I remember, is, I think, useless. I don't remember if there's any stats on it. But that's where you can equip uh, accessories that will increase your damage output, increase your HP, give you special attributes like replenishing some health each turn or replenishing SP each turn. There's all kinds of really good stuff in the game. If you have trouble with the additions, there are um, accessories that are very expensive and very hard to acquire called uh, Ultimate War Gods, which will allow you to... Just a second. Yes. Which will allow you to uh, pull off additions perfectly. I'll explain in just a second. I want to kill this guy first. Yes. The uh, the War God items. There's two different ones. There is War God Calling. Do not buy War God Calling. Do not keep War God Calling because War God Calling, while you will pull off the addition. You do not get the experience for it. You do not get the level for it. War God Calling is a gimped item that tricks new players. It will let the addition go off. You'll get the max SP and you'll get the max damage, but it won't give you a point in your menu for the, uh, the level. What you want is War God Calling, which if I remember correctly is like 10,000 gold. It's very expensive, but you just need one because if you're having trouble with additions and try trying to farm additions, you're going to want to use War God Calling on at least one of your characters to level up their additions. God, I love this music. Move quicker. Oh yeah. We're getting close to it. Move quicker. Uh. You have such bad luck. You will regret not being killed on the battlefield. What do you mean? You really believe you can live comfortably in the jail? The head warden frugal will feed you to the monster. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Feed us to the monster. I won't let you humiliate us anymore. Oh, feisty feisty. It's the worst kind of POW, but the best kind of feed. If you want to kill me, kill me now. I won't let him. <laughs> Sir Levitz. You, you bastard. You broke out of the jail. You broke out of the jail. Again, Japanese. Silly guy. You think you can escape from here alone? I'll take care of this. Survive and go back to Endel's castle alive. Tell King Albert. They're dead. I took care of those guys. Is this a civil war? You, who are you? Are you a dog of Basil too? Oh, god damn. Get him. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Tart. I'm not your enemy. I'm Levit Slambert. I'm the head of the first knighthood of the kingdom of Basil. I hate how slow it scrolls. 
I'm trying to do voices. Well, it seems we don't have time for introductions. No, we don't. Now, of course, you'd think that'd be a pincer attack or something like that from Final Fantasy. No, they're all on the same side. <laughs> there are no back attacks in this game. That's my face. That's also my face. Well, thank you. Hit someone else, please. Thank you. I am injured. <laughs> Alright, so I'm in the red. I'm in a damaged state. If they were to target me, my little arrow would say red. But I don't know if I should heal. I guess this is a good time to sh English. This is a good time to show you guard. Guard will of course defend you from attacks, but it does a very interesting thing. It replenishes HP. If you're ever low on healing items, get into a battle and guard until you're full health. Trust me. Stop hitting me in the face. Yes. Double flash. Nice. I will carry out your wish. You said Dart. I cannot imagine there is somebody who would intentionally come to Elena. What are you up to? I'm here to rescue someone important to me. Do you know anything about her? Her name is Shanna. I'm sorry, but... I'll look elsewhere. Wait! Levitz runs like such a goober. I'll go with you. I thought you had to go back to the castle as soon as possible. She's important, this girl. You were looking for. It's my problem. It was my fault. No, it wasn't, Dart, you asshole. I don't know what brought you here, but Elena is not that easy to go through alone. That goes for me, too. But I can break out from here, together with you. Of course, with the girl. How come you trust me? We just met. The rage you made was quite impressive. I trusted you to guard my back. That's the way I think. All right, let's go together. I just got a trophy for Levitz. Oh, I love it. I love it. Levitz acquired. All right. Well, poor bastard. So, of course, now that you have another character in your party, you know, you obviously have more people with additions to go through, but you also have more people to dish out damage, take damage, all that jazz. Levitz is my favorite character in this game. <laughs> he is awesome. Ah, spark net, not spark jet. Anywho, it's a useless item. Sell it when you get a chance.
You're just gonna tweak there? You okay? You all right? You look like you're having a bad time. Who, who am I? I? I could not see him. There was a thing in the way. And he was in my way. I was trying to leave. Pretty much, just hit the X button when you hear them shout. Yes. Double flash. No. It's seizure inducing. Hey, buddy. <sighs> oh, there's only one of you. You're so fucked. and hit the little savey save because I have come to the end of this recording. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm going to actually need lots of likes and comments on this to let me know if you guys actually want to watch me play through this. Because if you don't want to watch me play through this, I'm just going to play through it by myself. But this is my favorite game. Again, not my favorite PlayStation game. Not my favorite like RP this is just my favorite game period I love this ooh sorry I love this game it has an amazing story it has great characters it has bomb music it is a good game so let me know if you guys actually want to watch me play through this let me know if you give a shit and if you look if this looks like it's up your alley if this looks like something you want to play you absolutely need to go buy this it's available for PS4 and PS5 it's $9.99. Go get it. Go buy it. Now. Seriously. Stop waiting and go buy this game. Go do it. I hope you're all very well. I hope you all take care. And I will see you, hopefully, in the next part of my Legend of Dragon playthrough.